Recently, there's been some conversation around the transition of the TypeScript compiler over to Go. And I sat down with Anders Heilsberg, the creator of TypeScript, to talk through that process. Here is him talking about the limitations that TypeScript had to work with and why they decided to switch off of TypeScript as a compiler to something else. Now, if you want the full episode, go to my Dev Questions podcast, episode number 261. Here's Anders. It runs on a single thread, the UI thread, in, in the browser, and it can never block because that locks up the browser. <laughs> yep. You know, uh, hence all of these callbacks that you have to do in, in, in JavaScript, you know, that run uh, asynchronously and, and, and so forth. And now, of course, over time, we've patched it a bit by, by you know, supporting web workers which is effectively the, the ability to spawn a new execution environment, give it some code and have it run. But the execution environments can't share any structured data. Hmm. They can pass messages to each other as JSON or, or they can pass byte arrays, but there are no, you can't like have one web worker make a graph of objects and then give it to some other web worker to operate on. Nope, nope.